So I wanted to do a quick video about MCPs because there's still a lot of confusion around what MCPs can do and what problems do they actually solve. Especially around the use of uh, APIs, why we don't just use APIs instead of MCPs. So in this quick video, I'm going to try to explain why that is. From what I understand, this that our AI agents or LLMs at the moment, whatever we have to do outside of the chatbot. So if you want the LLM to connect to Google or to book a flight or call any outside API, we have to add custom integrations for all the APIs. So what that would look like is something like this where we would custom code all of the functions and this is just one google call that we would make to do one specific function and then we would have to do another api with another custom code to do any other function for google the same for stripe if you want to if you want to get the customers or if you want to get the total charges we have to custom code all of the api calls ourselves and this of course this is how we're doing right now it's a pain in the ass but it works everything still is working and the solution that MCP is trying to show us is that now we can actually do all of the functions that we were doing before a little bit more streamlined. So instead of us having to write, like instead of you having to write all of this individual API calls, what you can do is you can install MCP server on your client and just use that through uh, your AI app or your LLM or your AI assistant. And that's basically going to do the same thing that was being done before. So I still count the API calls, but it's done more streamlined. So you don't have to think about writing all of that. All you need to do is instead of writing all of this, you would just enter this command right here to install a Firecrawl um, server or to install like a Jira server or Brave. The same for Stripe, the same for all of the companies that have support for MCP. Their commands would look similar, something similar to this, where you would enter your API keys and credentials, and you would be able to use their services and do everything that you were doing before. But now, like literally all you do is just type in this um, and you're able to do that. And on top of that, you don't have to hard code any of the implementations you can ask your AI assistant in natural language, like, can you book me a ticket for tomorrow at this time? And what it would do is it's going to look into the servers that it has access to and see if it has access to a Google Flights MCP. And if it does, it's going to use that tool and to book your flight. Literally, all you have to do is install a command and all of that was set up for you. So that's the main problem that MCP is trying to solve in, as far as I can tell. And it makes a lot of sense to be doing it like this. And it was an eventual path to where we were going, but it's really cool that we can do this now. On top of that, what's even cooler is that this servers that you just installed, now you can use these with different LLMs. So before you would have to write function calling and tool calling for different LLMs and each of them had a different syntax. OpenAPI might ask you to write tool calling in one way and Claude would ask you to write tool calling in another way. Now all of those OpenAI, Claude or any, any LLM that you use will be able to work with these servers right off the bat. So you don't have to do individual like separate uh, hard-coded api for all of these it's just gonna work out of the box this is what the final flow would look like you would ask your ai agent to perform a task it's gonna use your mcp client which is either cursor if you're using cursor or if you're using cloud desktop that's the mcp client and in that mcp client it's gonna look for all of the servers that you have installed so like we said before, if you have Google Sheets server MCP installed, it's going to be able to use that, Slack, Jira, and it's going to be able to detect all of these automatically um, based on which command you ask for it. So if you ask for a message in Slack, it's going to look for tools directory and see if it has access to Slack. And it, if it does, it's automatically going to see what are the required fields. And if you have provided information for it to use the tool or not. So the, the AI agent will be able to see what is the required syntax for the for the tool. So if you install the Slack MCP and Slack has said that we need the message to be 
these three required fields, a message, the group that you want the message to be sent on, and the ID that you want it to be sent as. And you, if you only provided one of those, so there's two fields missing, your AI agent will automatically be able to see that there's two fields missing. It's going to come back to you and ask for the missing fields and then go back and make the API call. So it's it's a much more intelligent system than we had before. We had the same thing before with try catch uh, blocks and validations or validations and all of that. So it was being done before, but if you have implemented any of those yourselves, you would know that it's a pain in the ass to set it up. And this is just much, much more simpler. The final thing about the MCP servers are that you build them once and they can be used across any different clients. So you can use with Plot, WinServe, if you use WinServe, Cursor, I'm not sure if Lovable has this functionality, but regardless, like all of the different uh, clients that you have at the moment, you can use them with, or you can create your own custom clients, which I think is going to be the future. All of the AI chat, chat apps will have MCB clients integrated. As far as I can tell, I think that's going to be the next thing in the new, near future, which is going to be a big unlock for sure. So, so yeah, that was, um, my take on MCPs, I, I'm still learning and I trying to make videos as I go. But my understanding is that that's the main problem that MCP is trying to solve is to standardize the way that we are actually making the do calls to an API calls. And it doesn't replace the API calls. It doesn't replace the tool calls. It just provides you with a much more simpler way to do it and much more intelligent way to do it. Okay, uh, let me know if this was helpful and thanks and have a great day.